Hello everyone, how are we doing today? I hope you're all great and just having a beautiful day. If you're new, welcome. My name is Michelle and this is The Shake League, where you combine arts theory and social sciences so that you can develop yourself in a way that's truly suitable to you as an individual and very fashion and passing traditional staffers levels taken at because there's just so much more than meets the eye. If this sounds good to you, please subscribe or if you're a returning viewer. Thank you so much for joining me here again today for a discussion all about these seven style personalities. In this video, we will be analyzing the aesthetic overview of each type, what each style communicates visually, psychologically speaking, so that you may understand the statement your style is making, wardrobe staples and fashion house or designer recommendations for each style personality. Each and every one of us has our own unique taste in fashion, and we develop this into our personal style. But have you ever wondered why people of similar taste, or even people who wear the same exact piece, can look completely different or give off a different vibe? It is because we have a bit of each style personality within us, just in varying degrees. What I see most often of clients and often receive messages about is that they find a style or aesthetic they absolutely adore and they try to recreate it rather than having that serve them and their look in order to elevate how they feel when they step out the door into the world. This is where things get a bit complicated. So let's take it out of the context of fashion and since style takes personality into account, let's look at the example of the big five or ocean model. Traits and qualities are measured on a spectrum. So it could be introversion to extroversion, for instance. It's very rare someone is the actual textbook definition because we hold different traits, qualities, experiences, lifestyles, cultures, and the list goes on that influences who we are as an individual. Style is the same exact way. It's not one size fits all when it comes to fashion because it's supposed to be catered to you in order to make it your personal style. Now let's turn back to the style personalities because it functions in the same exact way. And knowing your score of each type, it will allow you to tap into, dress up, and truly embody the different parts of yourself in order to create the most perfect outfit no matter the occasion or what you have to do that day. That is what I love about these seven style personalities because it's essential to cherry pick your favorite characteristics of each style type to create your own. Because you are a multifaceted person, you need a wardrobe that matches your specific magnitudes. The overarching seven style personalities are classic, elegant, feminine, sexy, dramatic, creative, and natural. Today in my outfit, I've demonstrated a blend of style personalities because people are typically a hybrid of at least two or three main style personalities with one being the most prominent their signature, and to be rest or to be mixed and matched to your heart's content. And in knowing your style personalities now, do not feel that you always have to carry this with you because it is on a spectrum. It's supposed to develop with who you are as an individual. You will go through different style personalities at different points in life. The most common one is that people modify their look for the sake of professionalism at work, but your main style personality, your signature, is always present. It's what sets you apart from your coworkers or your classmates. This is also deeply influenced by variables such as age, time of day, location, and so on. So just by knowing them though, you will understand the clothing that empowers you and feels the most comfortable, elevates your image, and is truly suitable to your lifestyle. And now that we've gone over the importance of style personalities and how they function, let's delve into it. I've structured this video like those old school magazine quizzes. So as I go through each type, maybe grab a piece of paper, your laptop, your phone, whatever you have on hand, I write on a scale from 1 to 10 how much each type resonates with you based on the description of the person if you think, oh, that sounds just like me or if you see aesthetic connection based on a piece or an outfit you would like to wear or if you hear a brand that you would like to shop at and at the end, the highest ranking will be your signature style personality the following two will be your main types and the rest are supplementary to be used whenever you need it but you're not going to look to them to create your style Now. Let's begin. If you are someone of the elegant style personality, you are very chic because you have a penchant for all things refined and alluring, or if you're a man, dashing and handsome. These type of people have a very striking and cultivated type of confidence that's very quiet and poised. They tend to be very avid connoisseurs of the arts and really enjoy aesthetics, so they appreciate compliments more to do with their taste rather than their physical looks. 
since they are very intellectual about how they look, they swear by the Jeepers Boyer quote, never look dressed up. Look as though you just threw it on, even if it takes some time and effort as a keen anthropologist at the posh. I can tell you that the best dressers look like they live in their clothes. They tend to gravitate towards pieces on the hanger that many people will overlook and find boring or plain and just transform it into the most amazing ensemble anyone's ever seen. Because of this, people often ask for their opinion and their opinion is held in a very high regard because they love to indulge in beauty but have this very intellectual way of going about it. They're never very surface value people and because of this, they have this very rich depth to their style. High fashion is at the top of your must-have list, but you find beauty in simplicity. You are not very fashion-forward as a person because you curate your wardrobe the same way you would art on your walls or decorations for your home. There is something about your ideology that always has to be present. And because of this, you have many pieces that can be mixed and matched on multiple occasions and be worn multiple ways that align with your aesthetic lifestyle. Those with the elegant style personality have an image that emits this aura of sophistication, intelligence, and beauty, but they're very personable people because they hold down to earth opulence as their main appeal. You have brewed espresso mixed in with your signature sounds in the morning. You're a little careless, so much so that you could have a beat up Birkin, but you really enjoy clothes and sharing it with others. Closet staples include flower trousers, dainty heels, blazers, long slinky dresses, streamlined skirts, strapless tops, button down blouses, a mini little black dress, a suit, relaxed denim, soft overcoats, tuxedo or leather shorts, cable knit sweaters, and ankle or knee high pointy toe boots. Brands of choice would be YSL, Tiffany & Co, Tom Ford, Isabel Moreau, Celine, Lily Lorton, Chanel, Prada, Ralph Simmons, ALC, and Kate. If you find your taste running towards traditional pieces and modest accents, valuing durability, longevity, above fleeting fashion, you have a classic style personality. You love timeless silhouettes, high quality materials, and precise clean lines, and a softer, typically neutral color palette above loud patterns and motifs. Because you do enjoy the finer things in life, you only allow luxurious materials to touch your skin and only sport upscale, understated accessories. You like your wardrobe to be as practical and beautiful as you are as a person, and you tend to be the type of person that loves to throw dinner parties, you love upholding traditions, and dedicating yourself to something beyond yourself, whether it be your work, hobbies, charity, etc. These type of people are the ones that you will go to and you will learn about their legacy, their heritage. They're very proud people, they love the country they come from, they are proud of their family, they have a very close-knit bond with their social circles. They are the type that's great at networking or hosting the best parties. Very rare that you will see a classic adorning a designer logo or sporting some branding. It's just not in their nature. They love to go above and beyond. So that sort of branding doesn't really align with their lifestyle and the image that they like to uphold. It's something very outside of themselves. Instead, they go for very quiet branding. So it'll be something maybe engraved or something embroidered. It won't be across the chest. It won't be across their bag. It will be quiet luxury. Classics, when they're shopping, tend to only invest into pieces. They don't just buy things on a whim because it's trending. And because of this, these tend to be the wardrobes that are built generation by generation. Pieces are passed down to the next. Six out of all the style personalities are the most formal, and they will always look put together. It doesn't matter if they're on vacation, if they are boating, skiing, walking on the beach, they will look more elevated probably than everyone else there. They're very good at channeling legacy and uphold themselves to this legacy. It's a striving force within them. Six have a unique relationship to fashion because they aren't actually so much into it usually. Instead, it's more about where they're going, who are they going to have dinner with, where are they traveling to next, what do they need to have the best time there and through this they develop their style it's a legacy that they're carrying and creating for themselves they love history they love enriching their life's history and looking back at those times they can look at a jacket and go oh i wore that on my ski trip they take the tiniest of details and refine them in order to uphold their standard so they tend to be very good at academics, at sports. They're kind of competitive, but have a good nature to them. They are very refined and have the civility and their mannerisms. So they pay attention to the tiniest of details. That is why 
classics can make a sweater and trousers look like something out of an editorial. They just have this to them. They tend to be very good at academics, at sports, because of this nature. Classic style personality have an image of splendor that conveys a very high standard of living, reflective of their culture, their lifestyle, their work, their friends, their family, really their overall network. They are all about quality and going above and beyond. As much as you love chasing and achieving success, you also love a slow morning or evening. You have a soft spot for classic cars and enjoy afternoon tea. The quote that most aligns with you is being classy isn't a choice, it's a lifestyle. Most of the classic style personality tend to wear garments such as cashmere sweaters, fine structured bags, sweater vests, riding boots, a trench coat to pearls, leather loafers, cardigans, silk scarves, crisp Oxford shirts, two-tone shoes, structured blazers, silk maxi dresses, ballet flats, and midi skirts or dresses. Brands would include Hermes, Christian Dior, Ralph Lauren, Burberry, Cartier, Max Mara, Brunella Cuccinelli, and Giorgio Armani. If you are someone of a sexy style personality, you are someone who stands out from the crowd and does so proudly. You love to wear what other people wouldn't dare to, whether it be a plunging neckline, high slit of skirt, or a completely open back top. Those with a sexy style personality have this very cosmopolitan vibe to them, and they're very glamorous without being garish. They also will show skin, but they're very strategic about it. Whether it be the tiniest bit or a lot, they do it in a way that's very tasteful. When possible, they just wear the highest of heels and love to use accessories to accentuate their favorite features. Typically, those with this style personality are more about how they look rather than how the clothing looks on them. For instance, they're not going to say, oh, I love the drape and garment construction of this piece. They're going to go, I love how this drapes an interaction to my shoulders, to my chest, to my waist. There are more to do with proportions rather than the actual design of the piece. And because of this, they tend to focus more on other areas of their look, such as maybe hair, makeup, grooming. They're the type of people who know how to make anything look good. They could wear a trash bag and look fashionable. You love the quote, and fashion, only sexy won't go out of fashion by Donatella Versace. And you bring this essence to every look you wear. You could make something as mundane as a turtleneck look desirable, or a uniform look a bit provocative and a subtle way. Sexy types are the life of the party. Whether it be at home getting ready, they're the ones giving advice and supporting and uplifting everyone. Or while you're out, you can look to them when you don't know what to order for a drink or a meal. Even where you want to go next, they can tell you what is new and what is hot. Sexy types are the ones that are very in tune with the world. So they love to be out and about, to be around people. They're very enlivened by it. And this doesn't necessarily mean partying, drinking, clubbing. It could be going to dinner, going for a walk through the city. The allure of someone of a sexy style personality is rooted in their uninhibited, confident, and sensual nature that they tangibly capture through their clothes in order to create this daring, flirty, and almost tantalizing image that you just can't look away from. You're the one that just makes getting ready so fun, but challenge this testament to make a night worth remembering forever. Even when you're all covered up, you wear lingerie just for yourself. Secret rooftop bars are your favorite spot where you can be found sipping a martini with smudged smoky eyes. Your staples would include stiletto heels, plunging necklines, strapless fitted mini dresses, open black tops, far coats, animal print blouses, muscle skirts, leather gloves, satin robes, corsets as tops, high slit gowns, black slip dresses, lace lingerie, bodysuits as outerwear, leather pants, silk wrap-up tops, and thigh-high boots. Designers would include Versace, Roberto Cavalli, D Squared, Dolce & Gabbana, Jean Provocateur, La Perla, Manon, and Ludovic de Saint-Sauron. Those with the dramatic style personality tend to be very outspoken, dynamic, and eye-catching. They type to walk into any room dressed to the nines and just completely own it. The unexpected is also very celebrated within the style. Dramatics have this very interesting way of thinking. They're a bit in the box, but they're just in there reshaping it. Like if we were at a museum, you know how when people look at a painting and be like, oh, I could make that because it's like a circle and a square. The dramatics are the ones going, well, why didn't you make it? That is how they're 
style works. They're very over the top in the best way possible and they have this audacity and bold nature to them that just makes you go, oh my gosh, I could do that too. But when you go to do it, it's a bit difficult. Six have the power to make what people consider a statement piece into their stable. They're just on the cutting edge of fashion and they're not very posh about it either. They love a good vintage piece from a thrift store but also enjoy modern luxury. They also enjoy trying out a lot of trends and just seeing what's on the runway. They really align with the quote by Rihanna. When I'm putting looks together, I dare myself to make something work. I always look for the most interesting silhouette or something that's a little off. But I have to figure it out. I have to make it me. I think that's the thrill in fashion. Just to say you have a vast array of pieces in your closet that are all unique and ready to make a bold statement. Dramatics are very good at making outlandish pieces just look very casual, and they aren't actually that camp with their look, they're very edgy and very modern with it. They love modern art usually and look like a moving painting. Dramatics are the sort of person that when they're telling a story, everyone is just on the edge of their seats, waiting for what they're going to say next. So the dramatic man or woman has this very interesting, dazzling image, projecting an air of self-autonomy and assurance. You are the type to invest in yourself, and you don't stop until your dreams become reality. Your staples are rigid blazers, geometric cut tops, platform heels, opulent embroidered jackets, asymmetric long dresses, bold colored tops, highly constructed trousers, deconstructed mini skirts, square toe ankle boots, sequined mini dresses, stark cutouts, monogram printed bags, and patterned opaque tights. You love the brands Gucci, Louis Vuitton, Balmain, Mugler, Alexander Wang, Off-White, Fendi, and Vera Wang. At heart, people with the creative style personality are very expressive in nature. They put together their looks the way that they would their art, and they can't let a day go by without working on a creative pursuit, whether that be painting, photography, music, the list goes on. They have this very distinct yet very taste in fashion that's difficult to put your finger on because of their out-of-the-box thinking. They don't really wear trends and don't actually tend to be so fashionable. Instead, they turn to maybe a vintage film or the book they're reading for inspiration of how they're going to style themselves. They don't look at fashion as clothes, they just look at it like any other art form. Diffs also have a very interesting nature to their look because they themselves could be the most quiet and subtle person, but wear the most out there pieces or be very bold and dress all down, like in all black for instance, because they're channeling their creative energy into their art. Really, there is no in-between of them. They either use themselves as a canvas or retain that energy for their canvas. Creatives have a very strong innate sense of how to style an outfit. Even if they're not personally interested in fashion, they just always look a it's otherworldly because they have this very rich inner world and they're dressing in accordance to the ways of that world inside rather than the society we live in. So creatives don't always take societal standards into consideration often when they're getting dressed. It makes them look like a character out of a movie almost because they're almost disconnected from reality and interpreting it in a way that's so different than people normally would. Their style in a nutshell can be summed up by Chuck Klosterman's quote that goes, Art and love are the same thing, it's the process of seeing yourself in things that aren't you. Usually everything that you're wearing has your essence to it. So when creatives are out shopping, they aren't going to look at the label, they're not going to look at the price tag, they're not going to be looking at things that people typically would. Instead, they just look at something and know right on the hanger before trying it on, I will enjoy wearing this, I really love this, this expresses myself. This is the one and only style personality that's very difficult to channel if you don't have that innate design sense to you, but you can use the art elements in order to create this nature as well. Another way that creatives end up styling themselves is on accident, which is very interesting. It becomes this byproduct of their lifestyle, their creative pursuit, this unwavering devotion they have to their art creates this look to them and it becomes very stylized. For example, Kurt Cobain had no interest in fashion but became a style icon because his lifestyle, his dedication to his music, created this very unique look that everyone wanted in on. The creative style personality has an image that places an emphasis on living passionately by the way of his or her fashion sense, hobbies, charisma, and enjoyment of life's artistic pursuits. You dream of having your art shown in a gallery or becoming a well-known artist. You have your head a bit in the clouds, typically listening to music or with your favorite book in hand, 
but you love expressing yourself and sharing your new ideas and concepts with others. Your room might be a bit messy, but it's just a method to your madness. It's all part of your creative process. You live to create. Staples for this style personality highly depend on the person's influences, but are often mixed with another style to a further degree, which results in otherworldly jewelry, unique color schemes, excessive or minimal accessories, there's no in-between, and fresh takes on classic looks through silhouette, texture, and patterns. Their favorite designers would include Alexander McQueen, Vivian Westwood, Jean-Paul Gaultier, Jean Galliano, Oscar de la Renta, Elsa Schiaparelli, Filosofo de Lorenzo Serafini, and Tom Brown. Those of the feminine style personality favor everything light, soft, and sweet, romantic with a touch of nostalgia. You're the type that has transformed your love of dressing up into a complete lifestyle, and you must get dolled up wherever you may be going. You love everything girly like fresh flowers, tea parties, shopping, and brunches. You are a girl's girl typically through and through. You most likely had a phase where you really adored Audrey Hepburn and Marilyn Monroe, romanticized New York or Paris, but you also find your beauty in the little things of everyday life. You tend to opt for very girly clothes that's very flattering rather than flaunting. And you love the Coco Chanel quote that goes, a girl should be two things, who and what she wants. A common misconception I see about the style personality is that you have to wear dresses and skirts, and this is not the case at all. It's more about being very gentle in a dulcet, poised manner, so you can make jeans look very dainty and sweet and cute. It is the sort of nature that you're bringing out through the pieces. You could mean a skirt or dress to some people, but you will always retain your setting no matter what you're wearing. It could be to the gym, like a little matching set. You will make it look very girly and cute like that uh, Pilates princess sort of vibe or to the office you will make it look very glamorous and sophisticated soft because of your interpretation of it. The other misconception I see around the style personality is that it's just for women. It is not, it is for everyone. It's like lovey and rose or life through rose tinted glasses personified. If you're the type of person who loves to beg, to cook, who cares for their loved ones and loves like soft comfort, you're someone who is very soft inside but not hardened by the world. The style personality may be something you enjoy tapping into. The feminine style personality type projects an image that's very delicate, tender, and compassionate. They are gentle and ladylike, almost like an angel on earth. You're the type to wear Mary Jane's to your picnics at a park and buy yourself pink peonies just because when you're running errands. Your staples include mini skirts, kitten heels, bows in the hair, mini handbags, flowing dresses, ruffled blouses, dainty flats, headbands, plush hats, copious amounts of jewelry, embroideries galore, high knee socks, fur coats that are cropped, or feathers executed within a sweet, delicate, soft color palette. Your favorite designers are Chloe, Mimiu, Moschino, Blue Marine, For Love of Lemons, Zimmerman, Self Portrait, and Jim Battista Valley. And last but certainly not least are the natural style personalities. They are all about form and function, masters of the oversized or relaxed fit, and never sacrifice comfort in order to be stylish. They have this beautiful air of ease to their look because of striking simplicity. They are the ones to make a t-shirt and jeans look very fashionable. Natural types are the most grounded. They typically tend to be very into health and wellness. They love the outdoors or equally as much if not more. Love cuddling up on the couch with a good book and their loved ones or maybe a movie. They are typically very family oriented and have a lot of friends, especially a close-knit circle. Naturals love getting ready very quickly. The less time spent getting ready, the better. So they avoid elaborate fashion and instead love playing with patterns, soft fabrics, and will never wear anything that is uncomfortable. They are the type to stop wearing heels if it hurts and swap them out for flats. This aura to them that's very reminiscent of the holidays. It's like being around someone who reminds you of Christmas, for example. They're very warm people. The type that can just make everything look really stylish because I have this striking simplicity to them. They can make a collegiate country club or even a sporty sweatshirt look high fashion just because of the way that they wear it. They know how to make it work and almost feel like they're wrapped up in a blanket, even when they're out and about. 
A person of a natural style personality has an image of serene composure, very down to earth with an openness to all life has to offer. As Ralph Lauren once said, it's all about living the best life you can and enjoying the fullness of the life around you, from what you wear to the way you live, to the way you love. A person of the natural style personality is very down to earth yet elevated. You love the scents of sandalwood, vanilla, and rain. The burnt wood of a fireplace reminds you of home and your dream Sunday is to sit by the fireplace, sporting your favorite sweater, some jeans if you have company, and baking cinnamon rolls as it rains outside and once it settles. Go out to smell the fresh scent of nature. Tools include raw denim, cotton airy t-shirts, snug knits, puffer jackets, matching lounger sets, high boots, structured overcoats, soft leggings, oversized blazers, thick belts, free-flowing skirts, sports bras, biker shorts, stark white sneakers, academic or sporty sweatshirts, sweater vests, and long shorts. Labels of your go-to are the Row, Low, Lacoste, Tory Burch, Totem, Calvin Klein, Stella McCartney, Tommy Hilfiger, and Lanchuka. And these are the seven style personalities. I would absolutely love to know your results down below in the comments, whatever you wish to share. I know for me, elegance is my signature. And then I really love just dabbling with all of them, to be honest. I do pull the most from classic and creative, but definitely love experimenting with sexy, feminine, natural, dramatic, religious, everything. Like sexy if I'm going on a date, dramatic if maybe there's like an art opening. You have to really suit it to whatever you're doing that day. So let's do an example of blending to wrap up. Say you have just worked all week and you're very tired, but you need to have a productive day on Saturday. You're going to run errands. So you're going to be going to a lot of different stores. You'll probably be around a lot of different people. You never know who you're going to see, but you also want to be comfortable because you're a bit tired. So you're going to keep your signature intact, but then you're going to pull from classic in order to look put together and natural in order to be comfortable. That way your style will really suit that moment in time. And knowing all the different style personalities, your wardrobe will reach a new measure of versatility. You will be able to show up in the world in a way that best suits you and whatever you have to do that day. And in knowing your signature, you will understand the statement your style is making and what truly makes you feel and look your best. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe, like, turn on notifications and comment. Thank you all so much for watching.